So when you receive a call from an unknown number, instead of saying, hello, who's this? Who are you? Make it sound a little nicer, right? Say it has, to whom am I speaking, please? To whom am I, count M and I as one unit. Am I, am I? To whom am I speaking, please? This time, listen and repeat. To whom am I speaking, please? Excellent. Question tags are formed using the same helping verb or model verb from the main sentence. Example, she does not know you, does she? You were there, weren't you? I didn't say that, did I? Complete the sentence. I had told you. Hi everyone, here is a short, crisp English sentence for you. Me neither. Me neither. Use this beautiful English expression to show negative agreement. Negative agreement? What's that? Well, if someone makes a negative statement and you agree with them, then to reply, you can say me neither. Example, I don't like to drive. Hmm, me neither. I don't like to talk to Samantha. Hmm. Passive voice. You did not inform me. You're blaming the person that it is you who did not inform me. If you don't want to blame the person and you want to eliminate the stress from the sentence, you can rather make it in passive voice just to keep the doer unknown and hidden. So the sentence would be, I was not informed about it. I was not informed about it. Passive voice, simple past, was verb plus, third form of verb. Please convert the sentence from active to passive. You know, people have this really bad habit. If they get to know about a new fact, they're going to come straight to you and ask you, have you read that book? Have you heard about that? And once you say no, their reaction would be, oh, heavens, you don't know about that famous book? Seriously? And you'll be like, as if you have committed a crime. Let me tell you, it's okay. Just confront it. Say it confidently. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not familiar with that. What's that? Past perfect. If two actions take place in the past, one following the other, then to talk about the first action, we use had plus third form of verb. Simple sentence, I didn't like the flat, it was much smaller than I had thought. If you want to avoid giving your opinion on something, use these beautiful English expressions. Number one, well, I guess I'm not the right person to answer this question. Listen and repeat after me. Well, I guess I'm not the right person to answer this question. Number two, I have never given it much thought. I have, I have never given it much thought. Number three, I have no opinion on this matter. I have no opinion on this matter. Number four, you're gonna suggest. Word of the day, trivial, trivial, meaning something of very little value or importance. Sample sentence, come on, let's not fight over such a trivial thing. Twist your tongue and repeat. English expression, to be into, meaning to be interested into doing something. For an example, when I was younger, I was more into clubbing and partying, but now I'm more into training and shaping people's lives everyday English. So when you see people are making faces after listening to your idea, just speak this beautiful sentence. Say, guys, I'm not sure if I'm able to put across my idea clearly. Put across means to communicate your idea. I need you to praise at least five people before you go to bed today. Tell them, you're a charmer, you're luminous, your skills always astonish me. You revive my faith in humanity. You're one in a million. If you meet someone for the very first time, use this sentence as an icebreaker. Icebreaker means you say something that breaks the silence. So you can ask the person, is it your first time here? Listen and repeat. Is it your first time here? List of questions to check if you have been understood or not. Number one, are we on the same page? Number two, do you get it? Number three, am I being clear? Number four, does that make sense? Number five, and you're gonna suggest me one sentence, one question which could be asked to know whether your message is understood or not. All the best. You know your English sucks? Like you speak everything wrong. Why do you need to speak English? Yeah, I know that. I have just started learning. It is fun. Could you please help me with few corrections? Yeah, but I mean... Grammar pattern. If a sentence starts with a word ending in ing, it is called gerund. Examples. 
talking to Jack is of no use. Going there was not worthwhile. Now please complete the sentence. Learning English. Skills training in a group discussion. If no one lets you speak, next time use this amazing sentence starter. Say, yes, you're absolutely right, but can we ignore the fact that then present your ideas. And this is how you catch everyone's attention. I'll see you on next Sunday. I had an interview on last Saturday. You know, both these sentences are grammatically wrong because we do not use preposition on, in, at before the words every, each, next, last, this and that. Interview preparation. So if the interviewer asks you, why do you need this job? You can tell him, sir, this job is in line with my current qualification. So I believe that it would be a natural progression for me to grow in my career. Interview skills. Interviewer. Where do you see yourself three years down the line? You have that confident smile on your face, make eye contact with the interviewer and say, Sir, I see myself growing with the company. Let's learn grammar today. I regret that I said that. I regret having said that. I regret that I didn't take up that opportunity. I regret not having taken up that opportunity.